Hello, it's Branch Hair Lover Jalene, back again with another macro video. In this video, I want to show you an Excel macro that will allow you to find and replace values across multiple Word documents. Let's see it in action. All right, let me navigate to Excel to show you this new Excel macro, find and replace multiple Word documents. You can see to accomplish this, I'm referencing three columns in Excel. Column A, we're finding all of the values listed in this column and then referring to column B, where all of the values in here will replace the values that are found. Now column C is optional. You can simply list out the full path to all of the Word documents that you want to search. They don't have to be in the same folder. You can simply indicate the path here and this macro will loop through each one of these, opening the Word documents and then finding the values within them. So you can see I have three documents listed out on my desktop and let me show you the current state of them by opening them. So you can see in these Word documents, I have some of these values to find and then replace. You can see I have the phone number, email, address. You can see in column A are these values and column B I intend on replacing them with these values. So here are just some of the values currently in these Word documents and obviously these documents can be whatever the purpose is for as long as the find values are in here. We will open all of these Word documents with this Excel macro and then replace them. So let me go ahead and close all of these Word documents and run this macro. And you can see I have a custom macros tab in Excel and then a custom button to run this macro. Now it may take a moment once this macro has successfully run a message box will appear and I'm attempting to just display all of the Word documents that were opened and then what values were found and replaced. You can see them just listed below. All of the values in column A replaced by the values in column B and then separated by a line the next document that was opened. And you can see if I open the Word documents again from the desktop, these values have been replaced with the values in column B. All right, as I mentioned before, column C is optional. Now what would happen if you removed the values in column C? You can simply blank out these values and then leave column C empty. Now, when this Mac would run in this instance, it would reference the folder where this active workbook is saved. Then within that folder, it would find all of the Word documents that are existing in this folder, open them and loop through and complete that find and replace. You can see I have the same documents out here with the values that still need to be found and replaced, but you could add even more than this. It was just an easier way to not have to list out all of these paths and then simply put the Word document in the folder where you want to complete all of this searching. So let me show you this again. You can simply run this macro. And again, it may take a moment, but you'll see that message box again, confirming that it's opened those Word documents in the active workbooks folder path and completed that find and replace. All right, well, this Excel macro is great if you're managing multiple Word documents and trying to keep them current with the appropriate information instead of opening each individual Word document and completing a separate find and replace, you can simply allow this macro to do it for you. I absolutely want to know what you think of this macro. Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro of seeing the video, I have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels. And as always, stay awesome.